Hey guys, back with another video. Now, this team, Manchester United, I'm going to be talking about what is going on at Manchester United. Like, actually, like, they have at least, like, the fourth best team in the Premier League. And they're losing to teams like Wolves, who I know are pretty good. But the fact that they're seventh with that team, with Ronaldo, with Sancho, with Rashford, with Pogba, with Veron, who I know is actually injured, I think, with De Gea, like, and like, losing 5-0 to Liverpool with that team is just like, Come on! So I'm going to be talking about what is going on at Manchester United. Because it hasn't been good. Since like the Ferguson days back in the 2000s and the 90s. And like the golden generation. You know, I've actually been thinking something. When I, whenever I think of Man United, I think of Ferrari. Think of, think, you think both, are, both have, have like a red or red colored both were very good in the 90s and 2000s and both of them just fell off the cliff literally if you think about it it's literally the same both of them are are like ferrari's obviously doing better than man united but they're both the same they had their glory days in the 90s and 2000s both and then all of a sudden just both dipped like i don't know but like man united are just doing terrible right now and I'm gonna be like, so yeah, never mind. But let's just talk about this summer. The summer, because the summer is actually th something that we can talk about good. Summer they brought Cristiano Ronaldo, they brought for, I think it was like 15 million, something like that. Rafael Veron for 55 million. And Jaden Sancho, I think for around like 90, 70, 80 million. 70 to 90. 70 to 90 million. And. Pretty much, almost all those signs have been flops. Sancho has done not much. Like, yeah, Veron has done nothing, really. And Ronaldo has scored some pretty good goals, but let's just say it's not the Ronaldo of old. Let's just say that. I mean, it is like a 37-year-old Ronaldo. Almost 37. Is he actually 37? I think he is. I'm not sure. But yeah, things are not going good at United. Ever since Ferguson was last there, it seems like Man United have, ne have not done anything that good. The last title I think was in the 2012-2013 season with Ferguson, the season after Ferguson retired. And then since then, it's just been like this nonsense here. All I got to start, so sure, uh, it got sacked back in like November or December. And then Ralph Ragnick came in. He's, he's actually doing okay. But like against your first major team, Wolves, you lose one nothing. Like he has some good signings that he, that he wants to bring in. Like Julian Alvarez, the Argentinian like wonder kid that's at River Plate. He wants to sign him. That's a good signing. But another striker. You got Ronaldo. You got Cavani. You got Martial. Another striker. Like, Cavani's probably going to leave, let's be honest, this season. Um, Martial might leave on loan. But if both of those guys don't leave, then it's four strikers at the club. They have a lot of depth. That, like, just hasn't been playing. You think of Van de Beek. They signed him for, like, $55 million. He hasn't done anything. Like... At least always gone, he wasn't playing him at all. And then, like, you think of players like Bruno, who are doing everything for the team. And then, like, you realize you're drawing to Newcastle when Edison Cavani has to come on and score a goal. Like, it, it, it's just not been going well. Like, and there's signings that they made. Their first signing, I think, after Ferguson left was Fellaini. What the heck? Like, Fellaini. And then they've had some bad signings. Like, in, like, 2015, I think, when they signed Di Maria. It was a complete flop. And then, shine at PSG. 
Like, it's just not been going well. And, like, that defense, man. Harry Maguire for $90 million. Has he really done much? I mean, maybe start to see those doing okay. But then, like, Liverpool came, and then Man United lost 5 nothing. I think, at home, to Liverpool. Like, Salah just absolutely was, like, you out of here. And then, like, he just, like, at Old Trafford, he was, like, I own this town. I own this place. Literally destroying them. And, like, the, the fact that they're drawing to Newcastle, who has the billion dollars, and is 19th in the league, it's just not acceptable for someone who, like, Man United, who should be challenging for the title, like, every season, while they're down here in 7th. 7th, I think, with, like, 31 points, like, halfway through the season. They gotta make some big signings, I think. I think they should go for that CDM spot. CDM, I think, is, like, one of the main positions. Fred is just, like, not going to do it. Bring in Hydara. I've heard, like, links from Leipzig. Get Hydara in. He's, like, only 22 years old, and he would be, a, I think, a much improvement, maybe not much, but a good improvement for the future than Fred. So, yeah. And I think one of the main problems, and I know this might, maybe it, might be very controversial and might shock a lot of people. I think it could be Cristiano Ronaldo. I think it's Cristiano Ronaldo. You look at what, what, what he did at Juve. He took them maybe from Champions League contenders. And then like. It's not really done much for them. Like. I think that the, the problem with Ronaldo. Is that you rely on one guy to score the goals. That's the problem. Last season they didn't have one player. Who relied on everything. Like they, like maybe Bruno was a big help. But Ronaldo now in there. They're going to. Everyone's expecting him to score. And then like. He's the main man. Like I know like. And you look at the stats of last season at Juve. Or maybe like. Some season before. Chiesa. I, his stats went down from the last season when he came to Juve. And because Ronaldo was scoring all those goals for them. I And, like, you look at me, Real Madrid. Me, like, whenever a big player comes in, pl the players around him, their stats are at the fall. You look at Bruno. You see his last season at United. You see, this season at United, Ronaldo wasn't there last season. Ronaldo's there this season. There's a big change between Bruno last season and Bruno this season. And, like, you can tell because he's not getting as much goals or assists as he was last season. That's because of Ronaldo. You got a big superstar coming in, and he's just taking all the goals and assists away from you. That's the problem of having Ronaldo in your team. Now, I love Cristiano Ronaldo, but that's the one problem. And, like, what, like, and, like, it's not, and you can't have Ronaldo in that team for free season. He's, he's turning, like, 37 or 38 next year or something like that. And, like, I do really like Ronaldo, but I, I don't think he's having the best start of the season. Like, it's just not been there for United. Like, they were expected to maybe even win the title. But now they're in seventh. And they're like they're behind Arsenal. Like and but but I have to say, Arsenal have had such a big improvement. So yeah. But like the fact that Man United are seventh with that team is like an absolute disgrace. And like part of it I think might have been only his fault. I think he did make some questionable decisions. And, like, yeah, like, and, like, it has, in like, like, Romelu Lukaku, I think, was re really good. And they sold him since, and now he's not doing that great, Chelsea. Um, like, and, like, I think if you're going to bring in Julian Alvarez, and, like, if you're one for the future... And like you want, you got players like Mason Greenwood who play striker, and then you're gonna have Ronaldo in here who's like 
passes way past his prime. Thirty, almost like thirty-seven. Like yeah, I think I think he is thirty-seven years old. That's the problem with having Ronaldo. Like that's that. I think that's the problem with Man United. I think Ronaldo is the problem for Man United. You got players who were doing so much better last season. And now they're just not with that, that form because Ronaldo's in it. Because Ronaldo is doing everything for the team, the other players are dropping off because Ronaldo is doing better. But the thing is, Ronaldo's not doing better. And part of that might be because Man United is just having a bad season. Hopefully that will change under Ralph Ragnick, but he, he, he isn't off to the best start. A draw against Man United, a, lo I mean, a draw against Newcastle, a loss against Wolves, that's not good. And like, I want Man United to get back on form, but the way that things are going right now, I'm not sure. They gotta start getting wins against big teams. Like, winning against Wolves. And I think players like, like, you don't want another Cam in there. Like, I know there's, like, Chef and Cuckoo. But, like, you already got Bruno in there. Like, Hydor would actually be a good move. But, like, again, you got, you're like, Ronaldo is just going to probably affect your team if you have him in there. I'm sorry, Ronaldo fans. I like Ronaldo, too. But I think that's one of the reasons why Man United is struggling so much. Part of it also might be because of the manager crisis at Man United. I think that might be actually more what's going on. But Ronaldo's still a big problem because he's getting like all these goals while other players are not showing. Like last season, they didn't have a big striker. They didn't have like they didn't have a like striker who was maybe like as big as Ronaldo. Like they had Cavani, who wasn't like trying to get as many goals. And I think Ronaldo is just like trying to get more goals. Yeah, so that's like that's why things going off Man United. Manager problems, Ronaldo problems, and like team problems. And it's been going on since twenty thirteen. Yeah. I'll see you guys in another time. See ya. Bye.